was as if Just President Obama was trying to wrap his lips around the name. President, President-elect uh, Trump's. Uh, Miss President-elect. With President-elect Trump. Some on Twitter elected to imagine pranks that the mischievous Joe Biden now, might play the on the incoming the Trump. And thus was born a meme of imaginary conversations between Joe and President Obama. I ordered huge replacement doorknobs. Huge. Joe, we can't. President Tiny Hands. From the size of Trump's hands to President Obama's birth certificate. Come on, you gotta print a fake birth certificate, put it in an envelope labeled secret, and leave it in the Oval Office desk. Joe. Obama's birthplace gave birth to a lot of jokes. I left a Kenyan passport in your desk just to f*** with him. Joe. Oh, and a prayer rug in your bedroom. He's gonna lose Damn it. Damn it, Joe. That tweet was written by left-leaning Josh Billinson. Just trying to, trying to be funny at a time when it's really hard to know if it's okay to be funny. Josh loves Joe Biden and has authored at least 10 of these memes. And then there's the one based on a dirty trick that was actually played in real life when the White House transitioned from Bill Clinton to George W. Bush. An investigation confirmed missing W's in the White House. Hillary was saying they took the W's off the keyboards when Bush won. Joe put, I took the T's. They can only type rump. Josh, who also wrote the T's tweet, got an inquiry from an agent. They wanted to know if you were interested in a book deal. I told them I'm interested in anything at this point. If the election's been pushing your buttons, maybe a tweet will provide relief. I took a Staples red button and wrote nukes on it. Joe. He tweets to him in Russian when pressed. Genimo, CNN. That was easy. New York.